So I wanted to open this video with a sentence called PG is not everything. Then definitely you will ask me what other options do we have? And I'll be telling, oh guys, go do US million flab. Then definitely that will make you angry and you will throw a stone at me. No, that's not my answer. What if I say there are 10 other options that you can explore after MBBS other than PG and DNB? So we are living in a stereotypic society where friends, family, relatives, seniors, professors, every one of them will be telling us that PG is everything, that PG is your life. If there is no PG, there is no career for you but they never thought how much negative influence that have created on us our medicos and we also thinking the same thing living in a nutshell but there are many other medicos who wanted to explore their career options after mbbs other than pg dnb so for them out there this video will give you a lot of information so watch till the very end but before all that did you subscribe to my channel array subscribe no did you click the subscribe button then let's get into the video with no delay Hey guys, if you're new here, this is Dr. JT, MD General Medicine and a part-time YouTuber. So in this video, I'll be telling you 10 career options that you can plan after MBBS other than PG DNB. Number one, biomedical engineering. So this is a course for those people who are interested in medical devices and machines which are used in our day-to-day -day health services. So this course is totally two years duration, which can be done both in India or in the abroad. So after you complete this biomedical engineering for two years, you will have lot of options like job opportunities in various medical corporate companies so your pay scale will be starting from 5 to 10 lakhs per annum initially so don't worry all the links regarding this biomedical engineering where to apply how to apply and more detailed information about this biomedical engineering has been placed in the description so go check out if you are interested go apply for this biomedical engineering number two clinical research programs many of us are very much interested in research and paper publications but do not really know how we can proceed with them but do these clinical research programs really make us earn and have a career out of them yes of course there are colleges like cmap in lucknow CCMB in Hyderabad, ICMR in various cities in India, St. John Research Institute in Bangalore and lot more. Don't worry, I have shared the links regarding these institutes in the description below. So what actually we do in these clinical research programs? We actually study about the medications and medical devices which are useful or harmful for the humans. And this has been evolving over past few years and many of our medicos are also looking up to this clinical research programs as a career option. The course duration of this clinical research programs is one to three years pay scale usually varies from 3.5 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum in India in the beginning but if you do the same clinical research programs in USA and UK you'll be paid more. Number three masters in public health this is a two years intensive course which will actually enhance the skills and abilities of the students in research and management as well as it will develop the skills in public health. I have to say this is one of the top fields if medical students wants to opt other than PG and DNB. As the growing importance of the public health not only in India but all over the world you will have a lot of opportunities is coming around the world and some of the top companies around the world which are hiring people who have done MPH degree are WHO, McKinsey, UN Children Fund, Clinton Health Access Initiative, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and lots more. The pay scale of the people who have MPH degrees usually starts from 3.5 lakhs to 15 lakhs per annum. Don't worry all the details about this MPH course has been given in the links below in the description. Go check out. If you're interested you can apply right away. Number four. MBA after MBBS. MBA after MBBS is an excellent course for the doctors who want to shift their career from healthcare to hospital management and administration. So all the MBBS students are eligible to write this MBA entrance exams like MAT, XAT, CAT and after you qualify this entrance exam, you will be called for an interview. This MBA course after MBBS includes healthcare management, hospital management, healthcare and hospital administration and entrepreneurship. So this course duration usually will be from 6 months to 2 years and pay scale usually starts from 10 lakhs to 50 lakhs per annum. Don't worry all the details about the universities in India and also abroad that are offering MBA degrees are given below in the description and if you are interested in MBA after MBBS go check out that will really help you out. Number five MMST Masters in Medical Science and Technology. I have to say this is one of the new and evolving career options in health services because it will help you in teaching in amazing technologies. It will also help you in exploring the developments in minimal invasive processors and also my 
micro surgeries. This also includes genetics and molecular biology, which includes personalized medicine. This includes telemedicine, telesurgery, wound healing and tissue engineering, and rehabilitation engineering also. This course duration is about two years, and in India, IIT Kharagpur is the best institute for MMST. So all the details about this MMST course is given in the links below in the description. Go check out. Number six, UPSC CMS exam. This is one of the most prestigious exams in India, which will be conducted once in a year. If you qualify the objective test, then you will be called for an interview where they will be checking your personality, communication skills, and your aptitude skills. So if you are selected in the interview, you will be taken as a doctor into railways, defense, and health services of India. And the pay scale usually starts from 50,000 to 1.7 lakhs per annum. The major drawback in UPSC CMS exam is that there is a reservation system. Number seven, Masters in Occupational Health. This is also one of the emerging courses in health services after MBPS. So this course involves a studying of advanced ways or methods in the workplace standards, which are usually evaluated and monitored in the industrial enterprises. So this course have full-time PG course and also diploma certificate is also available. So duration of this course is one to two years and your pay scale usually starts from five to 10 lakhs per annum. But if you do the same course abroad, your pay scale will be starting from 20 lakhs Per annum. So all the details about this course, Masters in Occupation Health is available in the links given below. Number eight, fellowship programs after MBBS. Doing fellowship will actually add value to your degree and also will upscale your knowledge in a particular department like clinical cardiology, clinical neurology, emergency medicine, critical care medicine, 2D echo, family medicine, oncology, and geriatric medicine. These fellowships will help you continue your clinical practice with good pay scale, which will start from 50,000 to 80,000 per month. And the duration of the fellowships will be ranging from six months to two years maximum. So there are a lot of universities in India as well as in the abroad who are offering a lot of fellowship programs. So if you wanted to know more about these fellowship courses, go check out the links that are given below in the description that will really help you find alternative career after MBBS. Number nine, medical writers. There are people who write and edit the medical and scientific documents like papers, reports, and also presentations. These people can work in pharma companies, medical communication agencies, research institutions, and healthcare organizations. They also review medical apps and design promotional content for hospitals hospitals and also medical websites. The duration of the course is usually six months to one year and the pay scale usually depends on you how many hours you work that much of money but usually on an average a medical writer earns two to ten lakhs per annum. Number ten legal medical advisor. This will be the dream job or career for the MBBS students because the increasing in attacks on doctors and people becoming smart and filing baseless cases on doctors. The need for medical advisors are increasing in India and obviously you know in abroad it's a hot cake job. So you have to be trained in the medical law and later you can practice as a legal advisor for healthcare professionals, pharma companies, as an expert witness, medical expert advisors for the legal cases in government agencies. The course duration is one to two years and the pay scale usually starts from five to 10 lakhs per annum. So these are some of the alternative career options that you have after MBBS, which have moderate to high pay scale. And this shows how many varied options we have other than PZ and DNB. So if you are confused and wanted to know what other options you have after MBBS, then definitely I think this video have given you all the information required and don't forget that I have provided all the links below in the description regarding all the courses that I have mentioned so you will get more detailed information and also you will know how you can apply and exile in that career and if you love this video show me some love by liking sharing and subscribing to Dr. JTM channel and do comment down if you have any doubts or you wanted to know more about any other career options I'll be definitely helping you out and if you want more more such informative videos you know what to do. Just subscribe to Dr. JTM. I'll be back with one more great video. Until then, bye. Take care.